Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny here with CleverPerceptions.com and I'm giving you my week 9 update with Robinhood app. Uh, this is October 7th through October 13th. It is a little bit behind. I was busy last week, so um, let's just get into it right away. I started pre-market on the 7th at, or on the 6th here at 133.55. Um, not too bad for the day, 133.62. Um, following day it went up to 68. I did jump up a whole dollar um, right toward the middle of the week at 134 for a 6% or um, less than 1% return. Um, and then 134.92. So I had a few good days up there. Um, now here at the end of the month, I started going down. I lost 54 cents on a couple of trades. And I'll show you why in just a second. Down 92 cents for that same day. And then I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and do a stock transfer from TD Ameritrade, which I did initiate on the 13th. And that's basically what's going to be happening. So um, if I go here to my history, let's just go into Robinhood right away. And that is a little bit more clear here. Um, so I started trading and selling off on the 9th, uh, sold AMD, EGAN. CLMT, SIRI, MSN, um, RAD, ALSK. I started selling everything that I could to liquidate some of my assets. I put another $10 in on the 10th. So that way I could start buying um, you guys um, because I was going to go up to an $11 mark. I bought GLAD, which is Gladstone, um, for their dividend yield. Uh, Tiva, I thought was a good pharmaceutical company to get into. Um, there you go. I sold uh, you guys there for ten fifty eight. So I made um, like sixty eight cents on just that single trade in one day. So that's pretty good. Uh, PMTS, I sold BDCL. I bought, and that was specifically for the dividend they pay out on October twelfth. So I did get in on that, and I believe it was like seventy three cents. So that'll be coming to me pretty soon. Uh, I did buy more Alaska Communications on the 11th. Royalty, uh, I did sell on the 11th. Put another $10 in on the 12th. Um, I sold Coca-Cola. Now, Coca-Cola is a great company. I do want to get back into it more. I did sell them, though, because I wanted to get this SPHD here for $41.54, which also had a great dividend coming up. Um, I did buy BDCL again. It dropped a dollar, so I decided to add a second position on there. Uh, I sold Alaska Communications for eleven thirty-five, and I had bought in at eight seventy-six. So um, sold for a nice little gain there, three dollars. Uh, Tiva market sell for fourteen sixty-one. I got in at Tiva at fifteen seventy-seven. So that was where my loss hit. I got in a little too high and lost that 92 cents for the week. And that's kind of where that happened. And then UWN, I bought that on the 2nd of October for like 206 or something. So it wasn't a huge uh, gain. And um, that's pretty much it for my video. I am down um, a little bit for the week. Um... I believe I'm like at a 130 uh, or 140 something mark. You know, I just, I was so busy this week. I wasn't able to make a good video. So this is kind of like just me making up for it. But now for my um, two month update, well, actually it'll be week 10. Um, so two and a half month update is coming your way. And you guys stay tuned for that. Thank you. If you guys enjoyed watching it, subscribe like, and comment. Thank you, everybody.